Hello, Amanda here, organiser reseller. How are we all on this very hot Friday? Gosh, it is hot. Uh, 29th of um, July. Yeah, uh, so I did a haul today. Um, and for those who don't know me, uh, my name is organiser reseller and I am a reseller. Uh, it says in the titles, doesn't it? Um, buy and sell from um, car boots, auctions, online auctions. Um, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Vinted, anywhere I can get a bargain really. So yeah, so that's my game. Yeah, that's what I do. So I picked up a load today and I'm going to do it bag, bag by bag because that's going to be easy for me. So yeah, so I'm just going to do that for you guys now. Okay, so um, we'll just take it out one by one. I'm going to turn you around, put you somewhere so I can actually show you everything. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you the bits now. So I've got to come away a bit, but he was my first purchase. <laughs> you, Peter Rabbit. Um, he needs some batteries in him, I think. I don't think he, oh, his batteries his batteries are working, but they definitely need new batteries in there. They put some new batteries in in there for him. But yeah, he was absolutely lovely. He is a proper Peter Rabbit as well, by Gund. Um, and yeah, and I paid five pounds for him because he's a honestly because he's like needs batteries and he's electric and stuff. So yeah, I thought it's quite a good price actually. And he's very cute and he's in very good condition as well. I think for his for him. So yeah, so I got him. Peter Rabbit, isn't he cute? Right, next one I got. Um, picked up this. Oh my god, I'm a big fan of this label, as you know. Mint velvet. Sorry, it's upside down. I don't know why it's upside down again. I'm gonna have to speak to Rich again to try and sort it out. But yeah, but it's a lovely, nice um, dress. You can see it all. Hold it back, maybe you can see it. But yeah, it's um, it's lovely actually. It's um, mint velvet. So again, picked one of these up a few days ago, mint velvet, but it's just jumper. I really like that. So I paid four pounds for that one. Then I picked this one up. This is Austin Reed. This is Austin Reed, and it is vintage. Vintage because it's got the shoulder pads <laughs> so I definitely know it's vintage and also it's got a uh, old Austin Reed tag this is Opin Op Opleans at Austin Reed so yeah so I paid £5 for this dress and I definitely think it was worth the £5 because it's a lovely dress as you can see it's all polka dots the skirt is all in pleats if you can see the pleats they're all pleated so yeah, it's a really lovely vintage Austin Reed dress. It'll definitely go. So yeah, really pleased with that. Next one I picked up was for myself. I picked things for myself as well to show you. It was a H&M basic and it's just like a cardigan, basically. It's like a cardigan. It's really nice condition. I love that sort of like oatmeal look anyway. It's great for me going around, slouching around the house and everything. So yeah, I love it. So I picked that up and that's just H&M. So. Then I picked this up. For myself again. And this is from Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Just a little t-shirt, tea, gap. But it's £3. So yeah, again picked up for myself that one. The gap ones are pretty good. I thought three pound wasn't too bad. Now, this one I picked up for five pound as well. Because I'm very much a vintage girl, as you know, I love vintage. And this is a proper vintage. This is probably 80s, I'm guessing. The tag on it is look, Topshop, but it's a really old tag. 
and it's also you can tell that it's really old because and well you can tell it's 80s anyway because it's got the rara skirt on it can you see in that sort of really like those colors that were there at the time so it's definitely and it's got like um it's got a back bit at the back as well so yeah i thought it was a really nice little rara dress vintage in very good condition as well so yeah i was very pleased with that these are noddy <laughs> so he's noddy and um noddy and friends nina blyton so i saw him and I thought, oh, well, I'll have a quick rummage, you know what I mean? Because you never know, do you? And then I came across this little one here as well. How cute is that? With the tag on as well. So we've got this one here, which I don't know what his name is. I think one of the bad elves, isn't he? He looks like one of the bad elves, doesn't he? Oh, he says, Teehee, I'm sly. Playing tricks on little noddies, the best of fun. Gobo and I are naughty goblins. Always on the run. There you go. So he's a naughty goblin. He looks like quite cross as well, doesn't he? And then we have who else have we got here? She's Tessie Bear. So I'm Tessie Bear. I like to see my toys and friends, and so I'm off to see if Noddy in his little car will take me out to tea. Oh, bless her. So there, so there. So I thought they were really cute. So yeah, so I'll pick them both up. Um, paid one pound fifty for each of them. So yeah. Very good pick up. And I picked up, now I don't can help me on this one. I just saw it and thought, I've got to do research on this one because I don't know what it is. I have to say, if anyone knows, can you help me, maybe help me out a bit. It is called De Marchi. De Marchi? It looks either like a cycle jumper, I think, because it's got the pockets at the back. And I think cycle jumpers usually have pockets. I mean, it's got the whole thing on it, and it's got like um, a little sort of like to match. So I definitely think it's original because it matches that as well. So it kind of matches, as you can see, it matches it, and it looks it looks vintage as well, to be honest with you. So I need to do a bit of research on this one, but yeah, I thought, well, three time I'll pick it up because, you know, I tend to go on my gut instinct sometimes. So I picked that one up. <gasps> JRE selling. JRE selling out. I said, you know, down at Hampton, we have got Rohan. Because <laughs> I picked up Rohan today. So this is Rohan. Um, yep, it's got the Rohan on there, so it's definitely an original picked it up I paid six pound for it but I'd rather pay up for a bit for a Rohan because I know that they go pretty really well on eBay a nice check pattern as well one so yeah so that was a good find and then I found some Ted Baker see Ted Baker Ted Baker shorts really nice Got a little like label there as well. Um, pick those up as well. Sure, they'll go. They're rather nice, aren't they? There. And we've also got the. <laughs> there, so they've got quite a few motifs on there to show that they are real ones. So those have they? This authentic replay. Now. I don't know why I picked it up, but I just thought it looked nice. The quality of it is nice as well, so I've got to do a bit of research on it. It's just a white top, but I'm sure a man would like to wear that with his jeans. Going out on a night out. So, yeah, so I picked that one up. Three times again. I picked these two up. Now, again, don't claim to know anything about football. The research just saw it, saw Nike and thought, right, Nike. Okay, and I'm presuming... I might be completely wrong guys so let me know if I am but is this not France or is it not France am I thinking of the wrong thing that there the cockerel I thought it was French I'm sure it's France but I don't know I'd have to check on it but yeah there's two of them there's one like that again it's Nike there's Aya Aya I'd have to do some research on these ones 
I just thought I'd do a quick video while I got them rather than putting them all away and then getting them out again. Um, and then I also picked up another one. Again for three, three fifty. And this, again, this is this is Nike as well. So this is a Nike one. You can see it. I a Nike, and it's got the Nike thing on there as well. So I need to probably put these little. little you know these little serial numbers in and see what comes up sometimes they do come up but again it's got the cockles so i might be completely wrong it might be basketball even it could be basketball to be fair anyway i'm going to check them anyway they're sports and they probably will go so i've got that <clears throat> and i pick this one up this is Fast and Furious, paid £2 for this. Fast and Furious. I love what it says. See what it says? It says, you ride, you fight. And it says it's completely trademark registered. So yeah, it's a great t-shirt. I'd love that t-shirt. So, this is, oh my God, I love this. This is a Merc original. Harrington jacket, look at that, original Harrington, made in England, extra large. How lovely is that? Proper checked, beautiful Harrington jacket. Worth every penny I've paid up for it. I did pay up for this one, but... Right, yeah, so, as I was saying, I don't pick up shoes very much, but I picked these up because I thought, well, they've only been worn a couple of times. I can probably get them right here. And they're in very good condition as well. They're Nine West. Nine West, as you can see. And they're in very good condition. So, yeah, I'm going to pop them on eBay. I'm sure that they will go. They're very, um, yeah. Somebody can wear them. They're an eight and a half. I don't know if that's an eight and a half, an American size or an eight and a half, but yeah, so very nice. I'm gonna pick those up. I'll pick these up. These are thirty-one by thirty-two, and they are five one O's. So me by five one O's. So yeah, so uh, waist thirty-one, leg thirty-two. They are a little bit on the small side, but Levi's always do go. So yeah, so five five one O's, not five oh ones, but five one O's. There's a difference, I don't know, but anyway. The Levi's aren't they? And they always go jeans, Levi jeans. So yeah, so I picked those up. I picked this up because it is the Royal Air Force, large. So I've got it in scope, £4.50 I pay for it. It's really good, it's the RAF, the proper RAF. So could do a bit of a wash, but all in all, in very good condition mostly. I'm sure that will go. Plus it's got the badge on it as well. So yes, yeah, so I'll pick that up. Also picked up this which is like a granddad shirt. Now these used to be quite popular in the 80s, I believe, the granddad shirt, didn't they? And this is Hugo Boss. And it's like a collarless shirt. Nice striped. Cost me £4.50. And yeah, happy with that. Nice lightweight as well. So that should go. I picked up this, paid up a little bit for this one. I think I paid, yeah, five pounds for this one. This is a Levi shirt, proper Levi, see. So, yeah, nice check shirt. Might be in the winter, it might be a winter one, but still worth picking it up because I can always hang it on the hanger and put it out. And it's definitely a Levi one because it's got the little, as you can see, the Levi. 
So yeah, so I was happy with that. Pick this up. Beetles. Nice one. Big red and white one. So I picked that up. And it's the official Beetles. As you can see. 2017 Beatles. So I picked that one up. The Hard Day's Night 1964, you can see it there at the bottom. So yeah. And I just picked some little things Zara up. Now, I don't really pick Zara up usually, but I saw it and I thought, hmm, that's quite nice actually. I just picked up this little top here. I paid three pounds for it. It's a nice little peach. It's got the New York in it. I thought it was quite cute, so I picked that up. Next bag. I picked this up, which is Ralph Lauren Sport. And it is just a little white shirt. Like a polar shirt. It's really nice. So that'll go probably because people wear those with jeans, don't they? So I'll pay five pounds for that. And then I just picked a this was Dunster Dive Diving Deb's idea, this one. Because she's been doing like flying them out on vintage. I thought, well I'll just give them a go because they're in the sale. And people are buying them. So I got this one here, which is this is the top. These bottoms, they have never been worn. They're just X catalogue. I did ask the woman. She said they're just X X stock. Shop stock that came in. So yeah. So they're the bottoms, which that's a nice. Kini, that's one. I put these on vintage because Deb's put on vintage and she said they're going flying out the door, so so yeah, so it was two pound each for each one. That's two pound. This is quite a cute one. It's two pound as well for the bottoms. And this one as well. So that's another one as well. Again, these are all X stock shop stock ones so yeah and i think that one's a yeah blue and white one so i thought well they're all right well even if you make like eight pounds on each one it's still worth it isn't it so so i got those and then and then i got where are you this which i paid up a little bit for as well so I know that's going to go Jim Shark. So it was six pound, but it's a nice little top. It's got the Jim Shark on it. So yeah, you can just hold it up. Just a little top. You'll see that. It's got a gym shark at the back as well. So that's a really nice little top. So that will go as well. So I've got that one. Um, pick this up. Don't know it's worth anything. Just saw it and thought, oh, that looks quite cute. And it's in good condition. It's vintage. So I'm going to have to check it out. See what, how much that is. Again, don't know how much these are. Pay £1.50 for them. But they are those like Japanese things, aren't they? I don't know what they're called now, but I thought I'd give them a go and see what what it is, what they are like. They're called Nako Tushi animation. So yeah. We'll give them a go. You know, I've never done any of like things like this before, but we'll give it a go, see what it's like. Can't hurt, can it? Pick this up. So this is old vintage and it is a mahjong set can you see that it's 
We have to be like this. It's proper silk. So I, what I did was because I Google lens, don't I? So I Google lensed it, and it came up. It's vintage. It came up. They, I paid seven pounds for this. Um, it came up. One went a couple of weeks ago in an auction online for 130, because it's bamboo apparently. So yeah, so that's a a good little find as well. I found this little necklace. Now it's got, I don't know if it's worth anything, whether it, whether it has names on things, don't you? This has got Rome on it, so I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's a nice little necklace. I think it is vintage. So that's a nice little costume one. Now, <laughs> this, I was like, I was just checking that little bit, you know, down by the tills because you just never know in this charity shop. I thought, right, okay, I'll just check it. Well, I checked it and I could not believe it, actually. This is a real find. I don't know how much it is. I'm sure Chaddy Peter picked it up as well. But I'll just zip it up. It's yellowed a little bit because it is vintage, the actual um, zip. But I am sure... That yeah, I'll do it up afterwards, but it is Chicago Bulls Adidas, Adidas, whatever you want to call it, and it's vintage. And oh my god, it is really nice. This was eventually. So there it goes. So it is. And I paid four pounds for it. So I'm really buzzing about this one because obviously Charlie P, P picks up Chicago Bulls and I've watched a few of his videos. So yeah. So I'm going to check it out. But it's definitely vintage. Um, and yeah. And I paid four pounds for it. Won't we'll charge you four pounds for it. I'm sure she didn't know what she was charging. So yeah, so really, really excited about that one. Again, JR reselling. <laughs> He's gonna love these. Rohan again. See Rich. Rohan is in Littlehampton. Now, I picked these up in another charity shop, but they've got some in uh, Rara's PC at the moment. They've got a Rohan jacket. There's £40, and it's got a pen stain on it, a black one, I noticed today. And also, um, they've got a Rohan um, hat, 20 quid. So, yeah. I'm going to pay 20 quid for a hat, for a Rohan hat. It's just out of my budget, really. It's not really worth putting it on. These are nice, they've got the belt and everything. Rohan, proper Rohan belt. Couple walking trousers. Yeah. Paid up a bit for them as well. Paid seven pounds, but I think it's worth it. Rohan did a really good make. So yeah. And I also picked up Again, because you know I like my vintage stuff. 100% uh, polyester, Dorothy Perkins. Old tag, if you can see there. Old tag. So I paid up a little bit for this one. I paid £6 for this one. But I will pay up a little bit more for um, vintage, if I think it's worth it. And it is a nice little... Um, if you can see... It's a nice, it's got the two little buttons, really nice little jacket, so yeah, so happy with that as well. Do you remember him? The Fimbles. <laughs> I don't know what his name is, but he was really cute, so I picked him up, he's a pound. And I also picked him up, now I don't know if this is like vintage or not, or if it's just, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, Skippy, remember Skippy? Skippy, 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 the bush kangaroo. 
if he's a bush kangaroo. So yeah, so I picked him up because, I don't know, I just thought, you just never know, do you, with these tags. So yeah, so I picked him up, Skippy, and with Thimbles. That was my haul today. Um, profit, well, there's quite a lot of profit in there. I mean, I haven't actually worked it all out yet, but I'm guessing probably I probably spent about 120, I think I spent 120. So, yeah, looking back to get about 400 profit, maybe. But I don't know what the shock is, you can't go bulls is at all. Um, that's a real real find, and I need to do more um, research on that. I might message Chaddy Pete and see if he can help me. <laughs> Or luxury pickers, but I don't know whether it's more their style though, is it? Anyway, I'll message somebody to help me with that one. But if anyone can help me, leave it in the comments below because I'd really appreciate it. Anything that you've seen today that you feel that, oh yes, you know, I've seen this and it is worth this, let me know in the comments because you guys really, really help me. I did get another thing today, but I can't show you that because that's part of my challenge on Sunday. So yeah, so on Sunday I have a challenge, uh, three, three item challenge, uh, from the uh, the least expensive to the most expensive. So it's just three items, and I always pick them, um, yeah, and try and get like a bonus little item that maybe nobody knows what it is. So yeah, so um, I picked one up today. Uh, so yeah, that's going to go in my challenge. So I can't show you that one, but I showed you everything else. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe. Um, and then hit notification bell uh, when I'm uploading again. So it was a little bit sporadic, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd get it out there um, because when I buy stuff, I always just put it away usually, and I don't tend to show anybody. I'm thinking, you know, I just get the video out, get the video out, you know, whatever. It's just it's fine, isn't it, guys? You know. Um, so yes, yeah, so let me know any ones that you liked, any ones you didn't like, any ones you think I picked up, any ones I shouldn't picked up. I'm quite happy for you to comment about anything that you want. And um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Don't forget my live 9.15 Sunday on my channel. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.